to the Google Fitness channel. So in today's video, we'll be looking at how to use um, Redis as a message queue. It's called like the message queue and event queue. It's called like. But before we get into the video, I'd like to mention a few things. So first thing is if you are new to the channel, uh, that join us today as um, your first video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. And after watching the video, like the content and drop a thumbs up. And uh, if you are not new to the channel and you've been watching videos also for some reason you haven't um, subscribed, I really appreciate um, a subscription. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So the way um message queues work is that we have like um, a publisher, multiple publishers that are publishing to your channel. And you have subscribers, we want subscriber or multiple subscribers subscribing to um each of those channels. So once um the subscription is received or once um the subscribers that are listening on the channel receives a particular message through the um, channel that they are subscribing to and um, they will kind of like carry out some activity based on the data that they receive from that channel so that's just the way it works so the prerequisite to this is you have to have a ready CLI installed on your system so I have ready CLI installed so this is my ready server okay so once you have ready CLI installed you can just simply run the command ready server on terminal ready start server so to start ready on terminal so that's it so the first thing we need to do now is that so yeah, I mean this um this um, particular for a publisher of group. So this one I have to publish as for one and for two. For this one here, I don't have anything here yet. So we'll be using that later on in this video. So this is basically the way we do the whole publishing. So for one those publishing to a particular channel. So the first thing is the Redis client. So once we get the clients, we just go to test and address build sixty nine seven local sixty nine seven. This is like the default address for Redis, and the package we're using is this package here. This, so this is like um, I think the official for this package for group. So with that being said, so the next thing we want to do is that once we have our clients, we can call a method publish on the clients. This method publish takes in three things. The first thing is a context, which is context background. Then the second thing is the um, channel we want to publish to. So it says context channel string, which is channel we want to publish to. I'm just going to channel channel one, which is this way we are putting here. Then the third thing is um, the message. It's basically we want to um, publish. So that is data. That data is basically I'm just creating a user. I have a type user that has two fields, first name and email. I was creating a user and I'm converting it to JSON. Then I'm changing the um, JSON bytes to string and I'm passing it in as the data. And I'll call the error method on it to check if there's any error. Then if, there, if there's an error, you just simply put the error message out. So you just say publish to publish message to channel. So that's all the publisher does. Then for the subscriber, what the subscriber does is that to subscribe, we also create like Redis clients. That's the first thing. Then from there, we'll Define channel one to subscribe to which is channel one, and this corresponds to the channel we publish to right here in pop channel. So, once we have that, we just call um, the method subscribe on our clients, and this subscribe takes in two um, parameters the first one is the context, and the second one is all the channels that I want to listen to this type of channel. So, I'll just pass in um, the channel which is basically this channel one here which is the channel that we publish to in our publisher and from there those creates and um, then from there there's a method channel on because this re here returns um, a pointer to where this pops up so yeah it returns a pointer to where this pops up and this pointer to where this pops up here simply as um, a method channel that gives us an event channel so this is channel to listen for for any incoming message so we just call some one channel that gives us a channel of a um, a receive only channel of type Redis message, so I just want to go with him to listen for any time messages received on that channel. So I'm doing for so I'm just listening forever. So for so anytime you get a message, so this message I will get is a Redis message because the channel is a channel a receive only channel of pointer to Redis message. So once we have that, so basically the message is going to be stored. So this here has um, a field payload where the message that we are sending is stored. So if I do go dog this message um, okay go dog let me just copy this because this is basically the package name so, so. then I can do a message so yeah it has a field pillow which is a string so that pillow field is basically the string that um, the message that we published in our Publisher, which is basically the user that we marshaled. 
so once we have that in our message below so i'm just marshaling that and i'm putting it into this data variable that i declared the earlier to just hold it but then i'm just putting out the first name and the email <clears throat> so that's basically it so and for here i'm just kind, kind of like creating a select so this select will help our go routine to our um, main go routine to block forever so because the way go routines work is that the fork join model of goes and um, go routines is that once a go routine is launched it will fork into some laws it will go on some other ground but the main itself is kind of like a go routine so it will wait so this select will just move it to it so from there so the first now to run is um let me see um, which folder i am so I'm going to post the first one to command publisher subscriber first as well as subscriber first and sub one. So I'll just go on subscriber dot go. So I have my message subscribers to channel. So it's just waiting to receive messages on that channel. So then from there I'll create a new terminal and um, I'll change directory into my publisher and i want to go to publisher one so yeah i'll just do go run main dot go so yeah oh sorry go run publisher dot go so yeah, it says message published to channel so if i go back to my subscriber so it's that received the message here so this is basically the message that it received as json then it on match out this then first name is john and um why is it saying last name sorry it's meant to be email my bad email last name email so i just got this and run it so i'll subscribe again so once i am um, i'll publish rather once i publish then my subscriber here i have it here break the new line so this is the message i didn't break it earlier I didn't break the line because um, i mistakenly removed this um, backslash m earlier and then i was changing the last name to email so that is basically and um, that's the basis of pop so you can actually um subscribe to multiple channels also so to do that um here in subscribe it says that it receive a um, channel which is a um, kind of a very parent out trend so i can have sub channel one and i can have sub channel two to do that i can actually create another publisher here so i can create another publisher so yeah, I'll publish to um, channel two. Then that's the publisher. Then yeah, and I want to be like um, publish will be like. Um, so basically, um, the way one very important, one, one very useful use case for um, you know, this message showing is um, maybe you are working on maybe like um, a, a, tra a transaction app that monitors will be like they might be like an API to sign in. So once user sign in, so it drop like a notification for the user. And it can be another API for you like transaction that once a transaction is carried out, the deposit of withdrawal, it also drop like um, a notification for the um, user. So basically this publisher one can be like this first publisher can be like maybe the sign in as the first man email. Then this publisher two can be maybe like something like a transaction. So here we can actually do it like um, uh, we can do maybe like um, transaction type you can do trans type yeah. then so should be JSON trans and that's what that is. so can be deposit or withdraw for example then we can do amount and so maybe amount yeah so this here will be trans type so we can do it like a deposit and the amounts we are depositing can be an individual to an amount should be an integer or a floating point number so that's more realistic float 64 so amounts can be maybe 25.99 so every other thing does not change so from here in my subscriber here yeah, i can just simply subscribe to sub channel one i can create another sub channel i can call it sub channel two and this one is subscribing to channel two and this channel two here corresponds to the channel we are publishing in our second publisher here channel two that's basically it
again with that being said um, I'll just wait till messages are received then from there you should print out the message so I'll just comment out this line because um, if you are subscribing my channel to if you are publishing to channel 2 uh, and the message is being received here because we don't have like a first name and last name and email field anymore because for us to receive on sub channel 2 that means we publish to a second publisher and the message that is coming in as trans type and amounts not a uh, first name and email so I just just leave this one out and then just print out the message page to see if anything is coming in. So with that being said, then I'll just stop the server and I'll clear out the console. Then I'll run the subscriber. Then in my publisher, uh, um, so this one is in pop one. So I'll just run this go on. So it has published. If I go to my subscriber, it received the message. Then um, I can add another terminal to just. Um, Go into my second publisher, so I'll command publisher pop two, and then I'll go on publisher dot go. So it has published. If I come back to my subscriber, it has received the message. So that is basically how um, pop sub works with um, go and um, Redis. That's how I do a um, message queuing using um, Redis and GoLang. So with that being said, I would like to end the video. Before I end the video, I also um, mention once more that if you are new to the channel and then um, you have not subscribed to the channel, so make sure you subscribe. I do everything go. So if you like go content, you are learning go, or um, if you are, you are a beginner, you have I have a lot of videos on different things on go. So you can check out other videos on the channel also. But um, please make sure you drop a, a subscription and also um, if you like the content of the video the thumbs up so with that i would like to end the video see you in the next video cheers